country's first metro rail to begin its performance test in August. Progress of work from Uttara to Agargao, 85%. Homebound people leaving capital on second day of Eid. However, some started coming back to capital. Corona situation may go out of control if return journey of homegoers makes mad rush apprehend Sobadul Qadir. BNP could not come out from politics of hatred even on Eid Day, comments Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood. At least 140 Palestinians, including 39 children, killed so far as Israeli airstrikes continue. And Manchester City beat Newcastle United by 4-3 goals in English Premier League football. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to News at 10 on BTV and BTV World. I'm Imtiaz Masudbiti wishing you on the second day of Eid, Eid Mubarak once again. You just heard the headlines. Let's move on to the details of those and other stories. The performance test of the Metro Rail and Viaduct will begin in August this year. Later, it will go for a trial run from the Metro Rail Depot at Uttara Diabari to Mirpur to Pallobi. The works of constructing stations, setting up of rail tracks and power lines and the construction of parapet walls have been progressing amid the coronavirus pandemic. The construction work of four stations at Uttara North, Uttara Centre, Uttara South and Pollobi is going ahead on a priority basis for the trial run. The authorities say the first phase of the project from Uttara to Agargao has so far made nearly 85% work progress. They also say the country's first elevated rail network or MRT Line 6 has marked more than 65% overall work progress. Recently, Bangladesh has entered the era of electric trains through an exhibition of a set of coaches at the depot at Diabadi in Uttara. Communications experts say the capital city, Dhaka, will be free of the perennial traffic congestion largely once the metro rail goes into operations in full swing. A small number of vehicles and people were seen in the capital today, the second day of Eid al-Fitr. Meanwhile, many people are leaving Dhaka even today, and many people are returning Dhaka after Eid celebration. This year, Eid is being celebrated in a different way due to ongoing lockdown and COVID-19 pandemic. Capitals Gaptoli, Saidabad, Gulistan, Newmarket, Dhanmundi, Romna and many other areas were almost vacant today. Traffic police at various signals in the city performed their duty without pressure due to low pressure of vehicles. However, there were tight security and barricade at various points in the capital. Awami League General Secretary Abadul Khadir has apprehended that corona infection rate may go out of control if return journey of homegoers makes mad rush, as like they left the capital. He said the government managed the situation and the corona infection decreased slightly. Ovaidul Khadir urged the people to maintain health guidelines during the journey. He was briefing journalists from his official residence this morning. Eid Purvavarti Avastar Mato, Idir Paro Kar Mostole Fidi Asha Japrai, Bad Manga Janusrute, Ashunka Korahuchi, Ete Corona Shankromon, Shekasina Sorkare, Sorbato Kistar, Abato Dishti, Kichuda Nuntito Moneholo, Gadagadi Obosta Chola Choler Karone, Puristiti Nion Toner by Day, Tulejete Pari, Amotabosta Jono Somago Medie, Shastubidi Mene, Eat Poroboti, Chola Choler Bapare, Torbucho Sotrocota, Palone, Ahuban Janachi. Mentioning that many Awami League leaders and activists could not return home due to the during the four-party coalition regime led by BNP in 2001, 
Obaidul Qadir said people did not forget the history. The Awami League General Secretary said Sheikh Hasina's government did not repeat BNP regime's history. BNP Mahashuti Bolechen, Tade Neta Kurmide Naki Goto, Ek Juk Dure, Eat Kurte Dahoni, Tade Naki Hotta Korahoche, Mitta Mamla Dehoch. BNP Mahashuti Ke Boltechai, BNP Amale. কারো মা বাবা মারা গেলেও আওয়ামী লীগের নেতা কর্মীরা গ্রামে যেতে পারেনি দাফন কাপনের শেষ সুযোগটুকু পর্যন্ত দেওয়া হয়নি মুসলমানদের অন্যতম প্রধান ধর্মীয় উৎসব ঈদের নামাজ পড়া অবস্থায় আপনারা আওয়ামী লীগের নেতা কর্মীদের গ্রেফতার করেছিলেন কতটা নিষ্ঠুর এবং অমানবিক হলে এমনটা করতে পেরেছেন বলবেন কি শেখ হাসিনা সরকারের আমলে বিএনপি আমলের নির্যাতনের পুনরাবৃত্তি ঘটানোর কোন নজির স্থাপন করা হয়নি আওয়ামী লীগ জয়েন্ট জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি অ্যান্ড ইনফরমেশন অ্যান্ড ব্রডকাস্টিং মিনিস্টার ডক্টর হাসান মাহমুদ সেড বিএনপি কুড নট এভয়েড দ্য পলিটিক্স অফ হেইট্রেড ইভেন অন ইদ ডে He said Khalid Azia could celebrate Eid outside of jail due to the generosity of the government. Dr. Hassan Mahmood said this while exchanging views with journalists at his Minturo residence in the capital today. Othonto dukkhojonok bhabe lokkho korlam pobitro ider dino BNP ebong BNP er mahasachib hino rajnoitik boktobyo theke beriye aste pareni. Ontoto ider din tader ei bishodgarer rajniti theke dosharoper rajniti theke mukto thaka uchit chilo. Tao korechen abar Jia Rahmaner tothakotito কবরে গিয়ে আমরা প্রায় দেখি যে ঈদের সময় তারা জিয়া রহমানের কবরে যান আত্মীয় স্বজন বা নিজের মুরব্বীদের কবরে যান কিনা জানি না কারণ সেখানেই বক্তব্য দিয়েছেন এই বিশদগারের রাজনীতিটা করেছেন প্রকৃতপক্ষে সরকারের সঠিক নীতির কারণেই বাংলাদেশে করোনা অনেক নিয়ন্ত্রণে আছে পার্শ্ববর্তী দেশ ভারতের দিকে তাকিয়ে দেখুন পার্শ্ববর্তী দেশ নেপালের দিকে তাকিয়ে দেখুন সেখানকার তুলনায় বাংলাদেশের পরিস্থিতি অনেক ভালো এমনকি পাকিস্তানের চেয়েও বাংলাদেশের পরিস্থিতি অনেক ভালো সরকার এমনভাবে প্রণোদনার অর্থ সাহায্যের অর্থ প্রদান করছে প্রত্যেকের মোবাইল ফোনে চলে যাচ্ছে কেউ আশা করেনি যে এবং দাবিও করেনি এমনকি বিএনপির পক্ষ থেকেও বা অন্য কোনো রাজনৈতিক দলের পক্ষ থেকে এভাবে মোবাইল ফোনে টাকা পাঠানোর দাবি ছিল না এরপরও প্রত্যেকের মোবাইল ফোনে টাকা পৌঁছে গেছে আর বেগম খালেদা জিয়া হাসপাতালে ঈদ উদযাপন করছে এবং খালেদা জিয়ার তো কারাগারে ঈদ উদযাপন করার কথা ছিল কারণ তিনি তো দণ্ডপ্রাপ্ত আসামি এবং তাকে মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী বঙ্গবন্ধু কন্যা জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনা মহানুভবতা দেখিয়ে তাকে কারাগার থেকে মুক্তি দিয়েছেন শাস্তি স্থগিত রেখে এই জন্য বিএনপির বরং আওয়ামী লীগকে আমাদের নেত্রী জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনাকে মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রীকে ধন্যবাদ দেওয়া প্রয়োজন এছাড়া বিজ্ঞ ফখর সাহ আলমগীর সাহেব আরও বলেছেন বারো বছর ধরে নাকি তাদের ঈদ নাই আসলে মির্জা ফখর সাহ আলমগীর সাহেবরা হিতাহিত জ্ঞান হারিয়ে ফেলেছেন কারণ বেগম খালেদা জিয়ার মিথ্যা জন্মদিন যে এতদিন পালন করেছেন সেই গুরুত্ব ফাঁস হয়ে গেছে করোনা টেস্টের রিপোর্টে বাংলাদেশের মানুষ যেভাবে গত বারো বছর ধরে অত্যন্ত সুন্দরভাবে আনন্দ উল্লাসের মাধ্যমে ঈদ উদযাপন করেছে সেটি আসলে অভাবনীয় 58,20,000 people have taken the first dose of corona vaccine, while 36,51,000 obtained the second dose across the country so far. The rest 14,40,000 will receive on the condition of availability of the vaccines. In the meantime, 5 lakh doses of Chinese vaccine Sinopharma have reached the country. According to a specialist physicians, earlier those who received the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID shield will be eligible for the second dose of Chinese vaccine. The expert physicians also said the second dose of vaccines may be applied into human body even after 12 weeks of time. However, the authority concerns say in case of failure to receive vaccine from India, the government is continuing its endeavor to import Oxford AstraZeneca COVID shield vaccine from the United States or from other countries as the alternative step. Despite government's declaration of forbidding to leave the working place on Eid on the second day of three holidays, 
the city dwellers are rushing to their native homes today. Some people are seen returning from their native villages to the capital city. During the journey, violation of health guidelines may concern serious consequences during the corona pandemic. However, the health directorate has suggested to the authority to prevent the people from free movement without health guidelines. Otherwise, the corona situation may take a serious turn. Bangladesh today reported 261 COVID-19 cases while the coronavirus claimed 22 lives overnight. Directorate General of Health Services in its routine daily statement said that the tally of infections has risen to 7,76,796. A total of 22 COVID-19 patients died in the last 24 hours, increasing the death toll from the pandemic to 12,124. The statement said 6.95% of the 3,758 samples collected in 24 hours were tested positive, while the infection rate was only 2.30% on February 8 this year, as during the late winter season the rate started decreasing sharply. It said 13 out of the 22 people died in Dhaka Division alone, and 17 of them were male, while 5 were female, and added that 4 are in their 40s, 6 in their 50s, while 12 are above 60 years. The recovery count rose to 721,435 after another 964 patients were discharged from hospitals during the past one day. DGHS informed that in the last 24 hours, 13 people died in Dhaka Division, 8 died in Chottogram Division and 1 died in Kulna Division. International News Now. Israel's bombardment of the Gaza Strip entered its sixth consecutive day, with air raids hitting a refugee camp where at least 10 Palestinians, 8 children, 2 women, were killed and flattening a high-rise building housing the offices of media organizations, including Al Jazeera. At least 140 Palestinians, including 39 children, have been killed in the Gaza Strip since Monday. Some 950 others have been wounded. In the occupied West Bank, Israeli forces have killed at least 13 Palestinians. Confrontations between Israeli police and Palestinian demonstrators continued into the night in occupied East Jerusalem. Meanwhile, Palestinians on Saturday gathered in parts of occupied West Bank to protest against continued Israeli occupation and the ongoing bombardment of Gaza. 3,879 fresh COVID-19 fatalities were registered in the last 24 hours in India, taking the death toll to over 2,66,000. Meanwhile, 3,26,123 new coronavirus infections were recorded in India. With the fresh cases, the total tally of COVID-19 cases in the country climbed to 2 crore 43,72,243. Meanwhile, Brazil has now over 1 crore 55 lakh 21,000 confirmed cases and more than 4 lakh 32,000 deaths. The United States, the worst corona affected country in the world, has now over 3 crore 36 lakh 68,000 confirmed cases and more than 5 lakh 99,000 deaths. Meanwhile, COVID-19 global death toll crosses 33 lakh 75,000 and more than 16 crore 27 lakh people have been infected globally. China has successfully landed a spacecraft on Mars. Chinese state media announced it this morning. The six-wheeled Zurong robot ha was targeting Utopia Planitia, a vast terrain in the planet's northern hemisphere. The vehicle used a combination of a protective capsule, a parachute and a rocket platform to make the descent. The successful touchdown is a remarkable achievement given the difficult nature of the task, the Chinese media said. Only the Americans have really mastered landing on Mars until now. All other countries that have tried have either crashed or lost contact soon after reaching the surface. City dwellers in the capital are celebrating Holy Eid al-Fitr vacation in a countrywide lockdown situation due to coronavirus pandemic. 
Most of the people were seen exchanging Eid greetings through social media as all the amusement parks are closed following the health guidelines announced by the government. Despite the risk of corona infection, the city dwellers went to different open places today for a relief from lockdown situation. Thus, the Hatirjil area witnessed heavy rush of amusement-loving people the day after Holy Eid al-Fitr. Traffic jam was also seen at some places in Hatirjil as a good number of people went there with motorcycle, CNG and private car. Most of the people came out from their home without face masks. They were also seen to ignore social distancing. In the evening, the amusement-seeking people faced sufferings due to rain. Experts say the trend of ignoring health guidelines is very harmful for all, as it might play a assisting role of increasing the infection of coronavirus. And now, weather. Weather forecast valid for 24 hours, commencing 6 p.m. today, said Light to moderate rain or thunder showers, accompanied by temporary gusty square element, is likely to occur at a few places of over Dhaka, Rajshahi, Mamansing and Silla divisions, and at one or two places over Rongpur, Borishal, Khulna and Chattogram divisions. Met Office said mild heat wave is sweeping over Dhaka, Rajshahi, Khulna and Borishal divisions, and the regions of Rangamati, Chatpur, Majdi Court and Sayudpur, and it may continue. Besides, day temperature may rise slightly and night temperature may remain nearly unchanged over the country. And now, sports news. Ferran Torres has scored a hat-trick as Manchester City beat Newcastle United by 4-3 goals to set a record for consecutive Premier League away wins last night with their 12th victory on the road. Jao Cancelo scored the other one for Man City. Emil Kraft, Joe Linton and Joe Wilcock scored one goal each for Newcastle. Pep Guardiola's Man City already bagged the title of English Premier League this season. The table topper, Manchester City, earned 83 points from 36 matches. Manchester United bagged 70 points from the same matches. To end the bulletin headlines once again. Country's first metro rail to begin its performance test in August. Progress of work from Uttara to Agargao, 85%. Homebound people leaving capital on second day of Eid. However, some started coming back to capital. Corona situation may go out of control if return journey of home goers makes mad rush, apprehends Obaidul Qadir. BNP could not come out from politics of hatred even on Eid day, comments. Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood. At least 140 Palestinians, including 39 children, killed so far as Israeli airstrikes continue. And Manchester City beat Newcastle United by 4 3 goals in English Premier League football. And here we end the news. Thank you for being with us.